Hi everybody! Welcome to my how-to video on how to install a Roland GK kit GT3 internal pickup into my brand new Fender Marauder guitar. The Marauder is um, the modern player Marauder version uh, that Fender just uh, released based on the uh, the mythical 1960s Marauder that was designed and published but never never sold. Anyway I saw one at Guitar Center and really loved how it looked and felt and sounded and decided to get one. Um, so I guess I'm going to call it Baby Blue. Anyway I've got everything laid out here and uh, you can see I have a nice headrest, neck rest for my uh, neck of the guitar so it doesn't get a sore neck during the procedure. And this is the, uh, the box from Roland. Sweetwater taped a uh, label over the Roland label and uh, kind of messed it up, but that doesn't really matter. Anyway, it includes the uh, divided pickup and cable, the 13-pin jack and circuit board assembly, connector assembly, and LED and wires, the uh, GK select switch, a 50, yeah, 50K uh, volume pot, um, the mounting plate for the 13 pin connector, the uh, S1 and S2 switches, some screws and the springs for the pickup, um, the preamp board with the connectors. Um, I already put the uh, these cables on here when I was test fitting things. Um, so some of the things you'll need are uh, probably a clamp to hold the guitar securely when you're working on it. Um, plenty of protective things. I've used uh, 3M easy to remove uh, painters masking tape so it doesn't leave sticky residue on the guitar. Uh, probably a Dremel rotary tool for the surgical procedures and various bits. Um, since this was made in Japan all of the uh, everything's in metric all of the, uh, the holes for the, uh, the switches and the pots, um, it's all metric, so I had to approximate um, the uh, S1, S2 switches are 15 millimeters, so uh, I'm going to, uh, I could not find any metric drills anywhere close to where I live, so I approximated and a 5 8 um, bit works out to be 15.8 millimeters. So I'm going to, before I do anything to the guitar, try everything on some scrap material and dry fit things just to see how they fit and uh, take it from there. Um, the instructions from Roland are on one sheet of paper, kind of leaves all of the details of the installation to your imagination based on your particular guitar, but it does show um, the dimensions and the wiring diagrams, all the hookups, uh, and it even comes in Japanese and uh, Chinese, and I'm not sure what else in the back. So uh, I did a lot of planning first and wrote out my own 36 step uh, set of instructions on what I'm going to planning to do, um, and then I planned the layout. So that I want, uh, I want things to look as nice as possible and as clean as possible. So I'm going to put the, uh, the these two pots are the original uh, guitar volume and tone pots, and then there's the uh, the jack for the guitar cord. Uh, so I'm planning to put the uh, GK volume in between the uh, tone pot and the the jack right here, and the uh, GK selector switch 
I don't want it in a spot that I'm going to bump it easily while I'm picking, so I'm determined there's just enough room below the uh, guitar chord jack um, that I can put it right here. And I'm going to have to rat out some material of the guitar body underneath so it'll fit. Um, but it looks like it'll fit. And then the LED will go in between the uh, guitar volume and tone knobs. Um, for the uh, S1 and S2 switches, I decided rather than put them on the top, because it's kind of crowded and this is all solid wood, uh, it'll work to put them down here on the side, which will be, seems like it'll be an easy, convenient place to reach to when I want to change while I'm playing. And um, since there's a control, there's a cavity hollowed out here, it'll be easy enough to uh, drill through here and run, route the wires into the cavity to make the connection. And then of course the 13-pin uh, connector uh, will go on the side and you're kind of limited on the length of the core of the cables. So um, I was originally thinking of putting it back here but it didn't look like it would reach. So it's going to go right here and it also has to be somewhere where you can drill into the access area below to route your cable. So that's how it's going to go. Um, I took the uh, the pick guard off, as you can see, um, and photographed everything before I did anything else, just to be sure. And all the original guitar parts are safely in a little Ziploc bag. So the next step on my 36 step uh, list to install the kit um, since I've already done all of these these steps of preparation, uh, I'm going to drill some test holes in uh, scrap wood, scrap material, um, piece of sheet metal, to verify everything fits. Okay, I am back from uh, drilling my test holes, and uh, everything that I calculated in advance worked. Um, the, uh, the only problem is the hole uh, from the 5 8 bit for the uh, S1 and S2 switches is just a little bit too big uh, because it's 15.8 millimeters, so it's almost 16 millimeters and it calls for a 15 millimeter hole. Um, but in a way it works out nicely because it gives it kind of a countersunk uh, look. So uh, I'll probably have to add a little bit of uh, uh, adhesive uh, in there under the switch when I mount it so it stays really secure uh, for the final assembly. But anyway, so there's the final um, test bores. Um, the LED is 21 64 The hole for the volume pot is was a 19 64 inch bit. The select switch is a quarter inch and again the uh, S1 and S2 holes will be 5 8 So there they go. Now on to uh, drilling in the guitar. That's going to be hard. Oh, and by the way, those titanium uh, drill bits that I bought from Sears, they're very sharp, so I cut my finger. Try, not, try to be safer than me.